guys, it's Phoenix. Let's talk Transformers Takara Nightbird today. I forget what her call number is in the packaging, but she's one of the three, like, end-of-the-line fembots that Takara was doing in mm -hmm. their Legends range. What I find really interesting is that Takara decided to make an actual official Nightbird figure when the only appearance that Nightbird has had, barring any comic appearances, was in one episode of G1. And she didn't return, because she was destroyed at the end of the episode. Spoilers. So, kind of a niche character to make a toy out of, but I really like the whole silent and deadly assassin characterization. So, that's why I got Nightbird. So, give you guys one quick look at that. Alright, and here we have Nightbird in her basic robot mode sans any of her accessories on her. While this mold has its flaws, namely the very significant backpack here, which works better in my opinion with RC, than Nightbird here, I do still really like this figure. And I can almost excuse the Because back. the way it's painted almost makes it look like it's a shadow behind her. It could be a bit of a stretch, but it's the excuse that I give. Posability for Nightbird's pretty much what you would expect. You've got the ball joint post situation there with the head so can go full 360 can look up can look down a little bit got ball joint at either shoulder so it can do all of that got a bend at the elbow got a mid bicep swivel no wrist posability got forward and very limited back because of this at the hip no real outward movement at the hip due to transformation. We've got a mid-thigh swivel. Got a pretty good knee bend. And then you've got some foot tiltage due to transformation. This is one of those molds I feel that would look incredible on a flight stand if you can get it posed on one. So let's go to the close-ups, compare Nightbird to RC, and then talk about the accessories in this mode. So there's your side by side with RC. Yes, I realize the latter is still in a little bit of a pose, but I just want to show the two side by side because they are the same mold. And yeah, let's lower Nightbird's head a little bit. There we go. They both have the same stability issue just because their feet are kind of tiny in terms of surface area and that they both have that backpack. Now, you guys are probably noticing that RC is light piping incredibly well right now. Nightbird does light pipe, but her light piping is more of a pale yellow, almost. And if I move her a little bit closer to my main light source, you can see that her light piping is slightly less strong than RC's, but it's still really good. So let's get close up a little bit more with Nightbird here. Love the molded in detail. A lot of this does carry over from the alt mode, so I won't be touching on it too much. But I love the cartoon accurateness of that star there on her midriff. And I, frankly, love the detailing in the head sculpt. It's just nicely, nicely done. She has gone numero uno. Gun number two. And these are just straight black plastic versions of both of RC's guns. Although I think... This one came with Chromia. No. So one thing I want to point out is that Nightbird seems to have the design for her hands that most of the Generations RCs that came out had, where there's this little ridge right here at the bottom. And there's kind of a tapering there on the inside by the three fingers. So what that does for Nightbird is make it almost more natural for her to hold her hallmark weapons her scythes because that looks like a normal grip and you can see that the scythe pretty much fills out the entire grip on the hand but when you go to put in either gun into nightbird you can see that there's a lot of the handle left over now that doesn't really bug me i can see how it would a lot of people though and i know that back when rc here was released there was talk of variants where some had this hand like mine and others had hands like Nightbird. So, as you notice with RC, the gun slides all the way through. So that looks more natural. 
while I do kind of wish that Nightbird had these closed hands, that being said, I do pose her more often than not with her sides because they just look cooler in my opinion. You've also got that port there on the side where you can just port it in facing either direction to her forearm. And that actually looks a little bit better in my opinion if you do that. So we can do that. They are meant to obviously be stored on her in this mode the opposite way, but they do bump up against the kibble. So I more often than not have them both facing forward. So I wanna give two recommendations here. One for the mold in general, and then one for Nightbird specifically. Nightbird specifically, get her. She's really, really fun, even if she is a bit of a niche character. And she's a good reuse of a very fun mold, which segues into my other recommendation. Yes, RC is a little bit pricey now because she was the end of the line bot along with Chromia that was really hard to come by. So if you can get RC for not that much of a markup, definitely get her. She's really, really cool. And this mold itself is just a really fun mold. I've had a lot of fun with it. So by all means, track down this mold, track down Nightbird, go out and get it. I definitely recommend Nightbird and this mold in general. As always, this has been Phoenix. Thanks for watching.